NBC News correspondent. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, McGraw. The latest effort is to try to get as many supplies in there, and, and already uh, thousands of cargo uh, containers have made it there carrying tons of supplies. But getting them dispersed throughout the island is really a difficult process. You're talking about roads that have been damaged or destroyed, roads that are blocked. Even the ports, the shipping ports, are having trouble getting back up and running. The airport at San Juan is, uh, is operating now. There are flights going in and out of there, but uh, getting goods in there by ship is a difficult thing. People on Puerto Rico and some in Congress want the president to waive something called the Jones Act, uh, the Merchant Marine Act of 1920, been around almost 100 years. It uh, prohibits the foreign flagged ships from making deliveries, pickups and deliveries from U.S. ports to other U.S. ports without a waiver. Uh, that waiver is, was imposed a couple of weeks ago in the face of Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma to get goods from one U.S. port into Houston, for example, or out to Miami after those hurricanes struck. Uh, now people in Puerto Rico want the same waiver put into place for for that country so that they can get some uh, get more goods there into Puerto Rico to start the recovery. All right, so this waiver was put into effect for the other hurricanes, but mm -hmm. not so for Puerto Rico. It was put into place for Puerto Rico as well, but it expired this past week. So the push now is uh, is on to try to have uh, President Trump waive it again. He has concerns about that, though. It, he uh, was asked about it yesterday, said that a lot of shipping companies, uh, people in the shipping industry, don't want the Jones Act lifted. So he's trying to, you know, he's, he's going to wait and see and, and talk with people today about the uh, ramifications of uh, uh, lifting the Jones Act, of, of waiving it or dropping it all together. But what's more, he says there are plenty of U.S. ships that are taking goods out there from other U.S. ports, and the waiver just doesn't apply. So you know, we'll see what happens it is. I mean, it's a political issue. It's a financial issue. That it's also an issue of uh, trying to uh, you know, reduce a humanitarian crisis. Yeah, and we people should know that it costs more to ship things with this Jones Act, right? That's the reason why they want to waive it, because it would reduce some of the costs and some of the regulations to get the goods and services to Puerto Rico, right? Right, yes. Even on a good day, it's about twice as expensive to move some goods in there from foreign flagged ships. Cars cost about 40% more. And this, of course, is a country that whose uh, average annual income is substantially lower per capita than uh, the mainland U.S. Yeah. Uh, Jim Ryan, ABC News correspondent in uh, Dallas, telling us what's going on in uh, Puerto Rico. Jim, thanks for checking in. Have a good day. See you,